I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her about Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Nate Triple OG, often imitated, never duplicated, bringing you the best on beats in the game! Yo, before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you ring the notification bell so you can stay in tune with all the things that I got going on. Man, like, All-Star Weekend is over and it was absolutely crazy. Oh my god. So, today I'm definitely going to be doing the review of the Yeezy Quantum Basketball Bro, it is crazy, crazy, crazy how I got this shoe. Now, the story that I'm about to tell you guys, you're gonna be like, yo, I don't believe it. This is like one of those stories that your grandparents told you. Yo, I used to walk 50 miles to school both ways over Mount Olympus in the snow through the hell and fires and with golf balls, just golf balls of snow and ice hitting me. Yo, this is something that I never thought that would happen to me in a million, million years trillion years boom having this shoe right here having this shoe I didn't think I would have this shoe right but you know you can spend money and get a shoe but the way I got this shoe the way I got it yo I you, you, you this, this is something that I just can't fathom I can't believe it happened and and the kid went viral I went viral over the Yeezy basketball yo Oh my god, it's so amazing. I'm gonna get up close and personal with the shoe and we're gonna talk about that But let's have a little bit of story time. I'm gonna tell you guys about that And anyway, we're definitely gonna do an on feet of this shoe. Yo, yo, man oh, man. man, yo, 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 yo Yo, my excitement about the shoe. I just I just, I, I, I just don't I, I I just can't believe I can't believe it happened. I just can't believe it happened to me. I'm definitely uh, I, 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 I'm definitely speechless on how this happened. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about it. So I had just got through doing a raffle. I believe it uh, the store is Sovereign. Uh, I did a raffle. I, don't, I can't even remember what I did a raffle for. It, it didn't even. It, it didn't even matter, but I was leaving there and I was wearing my fear of God because me and uh, Q We were like planning to go see Jerry Lorenzo at m my favorite sneaker store St. Alfred So I'm on my way there to go to St. Alfred to meet him or whatever We're driving and we was talking and the whole time and let me tell you about something speaking things into existence Yo, that is real That is a real thing. Don't play yourself. That is so real like this weekend me and Q We weren't really just out there really trying to get shoes we were more so out there you know i guess rebuilding relationships and really enjoying the weekend and not just being out there camping for shoes that wasn't like the big, biggest deal one thing that we both said and one thing that i definitely said and i meant it like a hundred and ten thousand percent was this shoe was the shoe of the the weekend for me i was really hoping that this shoe would release i didn't really know when it was going to release or how it was going to release but i was saying like yo if i can get my hand on an easy basketball i really don't need no off-white fives you know the pack i really don't need that you know what i mean those are things that you know i can acquire later it really doesn't matter you know how much it's cost so I, I i understand like the value of things and people look at the value as far as like money and that and that's a story and that's a topic that i do want to get into i guess we'll we'll get into that at the end of the video that's one of the main questions that i do have so we're going we're going to saint alfred we're going to go meet jerry my boy he got on his uh yellow fear guys q has on the yellow fear guys these right here i, I do have these and i had on my, my black fear guys and i know what you're thinking right because you've seen the videos right you seen the videos, but you guys gave the fear of gods away. Yo, the story gets crazy. It gets even crazier than that. So, while we're driving there, right, we see the, the, the trucks, the, the, the sheep trucks, or the chef trucks. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't know how to, I don't even know how to say it, yo. So, we're driving there. The trucks are going past. Q's like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo. I'm like, I'm like, whoa. He like, yo, 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 yo. I'm like, yo, get out. Because we right now, we're right there at Sound Effort. I'm trying to find a park. I told him, hop out. I'm like, yo, I'm parking here. He hops out. He runs over there. He gets out the truck. You know, he was vlogging. He started recording everything. And sh I just, man, hopped out. I parked that joint, hopped out the car, and ran. He's already there. Like, he's saying something. Like, yeah, what's going on? Trying to get the footage. And the dude, I, you know, I hear him talking with her. I said, yo, let me get a pair. He said, why should I give you a pair? You got on fear God. I said, you can have them. You can have them right now. Take them. Take them right now. I took them joints off my foot and handed them to it. I was like, come on, give me a size nine. I need a size nine. He was like, all right, come on, let's do it. Let's trade. I'm like, hit. Take them. You take it too long. So I hurry up, grab that shoe, put it straight 
to the foot. Bro, like I had a choice to put it on my feet or not, but it wasn't going nowhere. This shoe definitely wasn't going nowhere. Uh, I put them straight to feet. I wore them on the whole day. I felt like a superstar. Sneaker news, shade room, complex, everywhere. Every blog you can think of. Every blog, man, they had it up. And I was like, oh my God, everybody's asking me, hey, you're the guy. You're the guy. You gave away your yellow fear guys. And I, yeah, I didn't give away the yellow ones. I gave away the black ones for the shoe. But I just felt like a superstar. I couldn't believe that Q gave away his yellow pair. I definitely did give away my black pair. I definitely would not have given away my yellow. Yes, I would have. I would have given it away too. That's just me though. That's just me. Um, Got the pair, put them on, was enjoying my day. You know, just kicking it. And then we get a mysterious phone call. A mysterious phone call saying, hey, did you happen to lose a pair of shoes? You know what I'm saying? And, you know... It's like, uh, yeah. So then they end up giving us our shoes back. We just end up going back to the Adidas store. They gave them back. The intent was never to like take the shoes from us. You know what I mean? The intent was to give the shoes out for free. Um, we just made that trade. I think it was just a heat of the moment, that type of thing. And it just happened, happened that way. And when I got them, you know, I, I ran away. You know what I mean? I had to get out of there. You know what I mean? I got the shoes. I'm not, I'm not staying around. You know what I mean? I had the shoes, I went away, so everybody making those stories saying that they, you had to take off shoes from your feet and give them to them, that is absolutely not true. That that, that did not happen. Um, but I did give the shoes and, and they gave me these. So let's go ahead, get up close and personal with this shoe right now. I'm gonna show you guys some details. I'm gonna do a little on feet. The best on feet in the game definitely will be coming tomorrow. Um, but let me go ahead and show you guys this joint on feet. Uh, well, let's, let's look at the details of the shoe. But let's go ahead, let's talk about that right now. Let's get up close and personal with this shoe right about now. Let's go! So here's the box of the shoe. It is, uh, the style code is Quantum, 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 Quantum Basketball. Basketball, size nine, you know what I'm saying? Made in it by Adidas, Yeezy Quantum. It does have that Quantum on top of the box like so. So that's that part. You know what I mean? But like, who really cares about a box? You only really care about a box if you're like a reseller. That's the only time you really care about the box. Bam! Yo, that's the shoe right there, man. Like, ugh, look at that. Turn that joint around for you guys and let's go ahead and like look at all these like tiny little details. So pretty much on the heel of the shoe, you have all this. It's like 3M. Uh, right here, it's also 3M. Inside here, I don't know if you can see this. It has like these little lines inside. You know what I mean? Inside there, that's also 3M. This is all, boo, I'm sorry. This here, it's all boost in there, man. On the bottom of the shoe, you definitely do have that boost right there. It actually says boost right there. The uh, traction pattern of the shoe is a uh, herringbone. So I haven't tried these on court, obviously, um, but I have been wearing them around. Um, the toe box here has suede. This is all suede, a very, very premium type of suede. This is like a neoprene. All through the middle of the shoe they come with bungee laces um you can't oh and they do lace up a little bit higher so i didn't even look at that they actually lace up here too so you can put them you can lace them up there because the strings are pretty long inside the shoe i don't know if you guys can see that it does have that yeezy branding you know if that's a thing you really care about that it has the yeezy branding in the inside also it has a little bit of suede right there and that premium suede there Yo, and then the uh, tag for the shoe, the sizes is there. This is what the stitching pattern looks like all throughout the shoe, as far as like in the inside. Yo, this shoe, this shoe here is cold. Yo, this is like one of the coldest shoes that I do have in my collection. Now, what the shoe does remind me of, as far as like basketball, shout out to the late, great Kobe Bryant. This, the sole here reminds me of the Kobe 10. The, just how it comes, kind of comes out right here um by your uh by your toe it kind of leans out right there also on the inside how it is right there you know with that translucent and everything the kobe 10 did remind it does remind me of that as far as like a basketball shoe trying to focus it in for you guys um this here is like a woven pattern um it is not it is not like um what, what is that fabric uh, i can't even think of it right now but it is kind of like hard um it's kind of like canvasy um, that's what that is like, you know what I mean? Uh, like I say, man, this shoe is dope, man. Dope. I'm giving you guys a real close-up of that suede. Like, when I say it feels, like, uh, magnificent, uh, it actually does, yo. The toe, man, straight milky, creamy, and it's like, yo, 
it, it, it is so wow but uh, enough looking at that this video is gonna be like super duper long i'm sorry about that let's go ahead take it to the foot game I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on feed. Remember, the new video with the best on feed in the game will come out tomorrow. And hey, it's a movie. Let, let's go ahead and get into that right now. guys enjoy that on feed i hope you guys enjoyed that one again i do have a better one coming up um tomorrow it definitely will be up tomorrow i'm gonna get it done if it's not tomorrow morning it definitely will be tomorrow night but it is coming out tomorrow um if you like my style of videos when i try to show off a whole fit with the shoes what did you guys think man is was it worth trading your air fear guys for this yeezy basketball and let's not think about like um, the monetary value like so again what I want to say about that was like is it worth getting the shoe that you really like if that shoe you really love it and you and you really want it does the value of another shoe really matter like if I if I, if I really want this shoe and I traded my fear guys for it and they, they didn't give them back me personally I, I'll definitely still be happy I'll be smiling this is definitely what I wanted it doesn't matter if it's hype it's what I like so I definitely would have had this shoe in my collection and the way I received the shoe you can't you can't you can't buy that you know what i'm saying you can't you can't buy that you know what i mean it's it, it it was a feeling that i will never forget that i will always remember um and then what even makes it better was i was actually able to get another pair uh this pair here is in my wife's size so she has a pair as far as fit oh i forgot to talk about fit um they do fit for me i feel like they are true to size they only came in whole you know whole sizes so like um i believe 8 9 10 11 12 I'm not sure if they came in 7, but I know 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because this size is a size 8. Uh, yo, it feels like any other Yeezy, you know what I mean? To me, um, when I first tried these on, I did have on two pairs of socks uh, inside the video that you guys probably seen, like, on Sneaker News or anything like that. I definitely did have on two pairs of socks, so, I mean, that was that, and I, I got them on. So, I guess they do fit a little bit big, but now that I have on, like, one pair of socks that I'm wearing the shoe, um, I think, you know feels good to me it doesn't feel too big i mean you do have a little bit of room um but it's not like a lot so definitely if you wear like a nine nine and a half you know go ahead and get that size nine you know what i mean if, if you really are you like if you nine and a half and your shoe be like no room go ahead and go for a ten then you know what i mean but i don't know i feel like it fits true to size that's for me and maybe because of the size of my foot i do have a narrow foot my foot is not wide um yo but i love it yo thank you guys for rocking with me Thank you guys for like subscribing. Thank you guys, like all like 390 people that actually subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate you. Uh, sometimes I get caught up in this thing like, yo, I don't have X amount of subscribers and that's just not the way to be. I have to continue to do me. And you know, when I do reach my audience, I definitely will reach my audience. And the whole thing is I have to be a little bit more consistent. Thank you again for rocking with me. Thanks for like, you know, kicking it with the boy. You know what I'm saying? And hey. I'll have you guys next time. I will be doing some more videos of the other items that I did pick up over All Star. I did get a few other things. Not hype items, but I did get some other items in. They're pretty dope, man. We're going to have some on feeds for those. I'll have you guys next time. Peace.